who lose their lives this year will be the victim. Forrest Yeltsin's heart bypass surgery could come as soon as next week. That word today from Dr. Michael DeBakey of Texas, the pioneering American. And I am tremendously concerned that one of the great problems we face in this country is the growing number of patients who are unsure. From the beginning, he seemed destined for a special life. He held his big brother as a hero, and like his brother, made an early announcement that he would one day serve as a doctor. Then, in 1981, he stopped at a convenience store for two dollars of gasoline, just enough to get home. What transpired was a familiar story on the local news. An armed robbery in progress. A man getting two dollars of gasoline, shot in the head. At first paralyzed and unable to speak, he entered years of rehabilitation. He made believers of his doctors and physical therapists, and he gave one of them a dictionary with the word impossible crossed out. He earned one degree and then another. Newspapers and magazines called him a hero, though he's still uncomfortable with such praise. Through it all, his loving family stood by him. He became a husband, a father, and he joined the profession he had dreamed of, counseling other pain victims with the unique understanding of a survivor. Our guest on this edition of Insight, Mike Siegel.